Welcome back to Inscription. We're in the middle of a battle. We need a squirrel. We'll play the squirrel. We'll sacrifice it. No. We wait. I want that bullfrog to do its thing before it... Yes. Now we can summon the stink bug. Don't get ahead of yourself. You need to draw a card first. So be it. Give me the squirrel. Wolf. Destroy them. Take out the alpha. Use the bones to create the stink bug. It needs time to grow. Hide it over there behind the stump. I want to see what it grows into. Good play. Ooh. Became a 2-4 because of my totem. Interesting. Draw a card. Look. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. What I want to know is why do you look different now? Or am I imagining it? I don't feel like sacrificing anything to get you on the board. We wait. Victory is almost ours. We'll use a squirrel. To summon you. Bad play. I disagree. I've won. You see? That was a good play after all. Another card. What do we get? A skunk. Stinky. Moose buck. Hefty. Black goat. Worthy sacrifice. Hmm. We'll get the black goat. Use its blood for purposes. Items. I'll take. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. Interesting. A squirrel. Bones. Scissors. I'll take the scissors. I should occasionally get rid of the weaker items I have to make room for good items like that, shouldn't I? A strong battle, cards, totem lady, or a battle, draw a card based on cost, and then either buff a creature or infuse a creature. I think I want the totem lady, don't I? Maybe. I have to get her twice, though. Oh. So we both have totems this time. That wardrobe, he almost put me in there. The top left drawer. But the puzzle was too easy. Stink bug. Gonna start giving these hints for that, huh? Squirrel. Stump. Coyote sparrow. Okay. Play the squirrel. Hmm. Do we sacrifice it for the black goat? Or for the bullfrog? This for the bullfrog. And use the bullfrog to wait a second. If I play you here, you'll die. If I play you here. No, it's just put you here. I may have made mistakes. It's fine. Incoming bat. Bit of a problem, actually. We may have made mistakes here. I might need to... I might need to use this squirrel. Not now. Draw a card first. If you insist. It's me. I see that. Draw the squirrel. Play the squirrel. And we will sacrifice it for the stoat. Just take it the coyote. This spot, you sure? Yes. It's not as if I can undo it. You can draw the stink bug. Put you here to reduce its power. Shall we? We shall. And then we end turn. Salvaged. The bat's coming in. Took it out. Fine. Draw a card. Elk fawn. I don't want to sacrifice either of you. In turn. Good. It's a close battle. Need a squirrel. Play you. Use you. Some of the elk fawn. 
and turn. Fantastic. Ah, the upgrade. Draw a card. The wolf will wait on you. Looks like the enemies run out of cards. Fortunate for us. Was end turn. Victory. It's ours. What now? Another card, perhaps. Rattler. The inviolable beehive. When it is attacked, you'll draw a bee. Bees are one power, one health, airborne. A mantis with bifurcated strike. I'll choose the mantis. No, let's try the beehive. Yes. Give me my totem. The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Oh. We can choose the creature type. Wolves. Elks. Or you can choose the power of the stink bug. Hmm. That'll reduce the power. No, that'll give that ability to whichever ones. I'll choose... The wolves. Yes. Oh, I can... Oh, I, I can rearrange. Ah, I give my wolves the power. Interesting. Yes, I'll take it. The old woman collected her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. Interesting. So you don't have to get her two more times. You can move it around. Nice. I guess you can only have one totem, but you can keep visiting her to change up your totems. The smoke. Okay. A chill mist closed in around you. You are not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Stay into the way of me gold. Be darned. Very well then. Coyote pack mule. Play the smoke. Play the squirrel. Five. So one, two. Play the beehive here. Take the bones. Play the elk fawn here. And turn. Elk fawn couldn't move. Beehive dies by gain a bee and a bone. We'll take. Let's take a squirrel. Bee is a 1 1 of flight. They'll fly over the coyote, that's no good. Bullfrog will kill it. There we are. We can play the bee for free. End turn. Good. I should save cards in my hand, shouldn't I? I can't stop thinking about that wardrobe. The metal sliders, they're... They're a bit like cards, aren't they? Interesting. So they're like cards. We'll end turn. Oh. One of your candles is gone. There's gold in them cards. It's important to keep a lot of cards in your hand against these guys, isn't it? G -g gold I've struck gold. Bloodhound. We're going to need... Squirrels to play cards, won't we? In turn. Get him. That's a lot of damage coming in. We're in trouble. Need a card, something good. Easy boss. Just pop that mule. It's a little late for that bit of information, isn't it? Okay. Squirrel. Here. Hmm. A one, two. It'll decrease the power by one. You, go here. Cracking. Stoat. Hmm. I kill the squirrel with the stoat. I deal one damage to it. Let's just wait a turn. Let the squirrel do its job. That stings. 
Okay. Hmm. Draw again. Play the squirrel. Perhaps we made a mistake. Put the stoat down to deal some damage. The spot? You sure? No. I should probably use an item, shouldn't I? It seems a shame to waste it, but... I have little choice, I feel. Get it out of here. I should have made wiser choices. The bloodhound is a problem. It's almost dead. Bullfrog, one, two. You served your, your purpose, Stoat. I must kill the bloodhound. I have so many bones. Give me a card. Black goat. That'll be useful. We're struggling, though. I need to kill that wolf cub now. Give me something good. We're low on cards. 3-2, that's fantastic. Okay. We'll put down the black goat. We'll sacrifice it. Put down my wolf. Take out its. We're low on cards. Elder wolf. Fantastic. That's right, because we have the sigil, we improved it. It's very good for us. Squirrel, do your business. If that elder wolf dies, I lose. I think he's out of cards, too. He ran out first. A close victory, and I had to use an item for it. But we still won. And that's what matters. Need a light? Thank you. For relighting my candle. Your reward? What do we get? The uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. It's a 1-1, one, one, but it's free to play. Very good early on. Not so much late in the battle. I have no words for this freak of nature. Long elk. Costs four bones. It's a 1-2. With some strange abilities. What's this? A touch of death. Oh. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature per perishes. And it moves around the board. Sprinter. Might be alright, actually. The Amorphous Amoeba. It, its sigils are ever-changing. Costs two bones. It's a 1-2. And its sigils change. When a card bearing the sigil is drawn, the sigil is replaced with another sigil at random. Hmm. Fascinating. Let's try it. Moving onward. Free their prospector's unhinged gaze. You looked ahead. Let me think. As the air grew humid, your boots became harder to pull from the mud. The dank smell of tepid water invaded your nostrils. You had reached the wetlands. Okay. Well, here we go. Oh. So which one? The Trial of Bones. The three drawn cards must cost at least five bones combined to pass. Probably won't happen. Not that many bone cards in my deck. The Trial of Kin. Two of the three drawn cards must be kin to pass. Also unlikely. We've got a lot of variety. The Trial of Power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. It's possible. We'll try it. Let the Trial of Power begin. Zero. Unlucky. One. Unlucky. Zero from the beehive. One from the elk fawn. One from the bullfrog. Failure, the creature whispered as it faded into the blackness. No card for us, but also no penalty. I'll take it. More items. Good. We need them. Hmm. A squirrel. One for the trial. Bones. I'll take one of these. Oh. Oh no. You can't use that. Oh, but I can. I'll take it. Whatever it is. A totem battle. A regular battle. The Trapper. Do want to visit the Trapper. Also items. Should clear out some of my bad items. Maybe test out this one, see what it is. Amoeba. Oh. A good pull. Many lives. I need the bones for it, though. We have two bees coming in. They'll fly over what I put in front of them. Unless it's the bullfrog. Bullfrog. 
I need you here. Black goat we hang on to. I need to infuse your power into something else, I think. Yeah, in turn. Good job, bullfrog. Stop that damage. Hmm. A squirrel to summon the black goat. To give us the bones for the amoeba? A good choice. Give us the black goat. Put it here. Summon the amoeba. Put it here. And turn. Nice. The frog is gone. Wardrobe. Sliders. Hmm. Guess I should try that. It keeps reminding me. Can't play you. In turn. Damage. Oh. Much damage to us, I see. We need something to fight. Wolf. Hmm. I can sacrifice a black goat, actually. Take out this mantis. It's doing two damage. Get rid of it. That'll help. I'm not sure if it'll be enough. We'll see. I can put the stink bug down, too, actually. Take out one of these. Good job. Masterful. I thought so. You can lose these battles quickly if you're not careful. Elder Wolf. This totem's good. I need more wolves in my deck. A bullfrog. I can sacrifice you infinitely. Put you down. And turn. Much better. Attack my amoeba. How dare you. It's fine. We've won. Things for the trapper. Give us pelts. I have the most exquisite pelts. Wish I had, do I have nine? The first one's free. Fantastic. I can't afford the golden pelt. I'll take it. Hmm, the rabbit pelt doesn't give that good of uh, things. I'll just save the rest. Much appreciated. Okay. Keeps telling me to check the wardrobe. Is it, is it different now? So. So they look like cards. It's a 2 1, a 1 3, a 1 3, and a 1 3. Don't fully understand. So. This, I guess, like we're doing like. Are we trying to create an opposing battle? Where they like add up? So. Move them around to face each other? I, I, I completely don't understand this at all. He's giving us three hints on this. In the demo, I, I managed to do it just by like. Brute forcing through sheer dumb luck. Trying to tip the scales. So he's trying to do five damage to one side. One, two. Only we'll move it back up. Fine. I don't understand this at all. So. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I wish they'd give me some more hints. I don't understand the mechanic of this at all. So, like, it's a two... So, like, we're supposed to have, like, opposing fights. There's only one per thing. What's this button? Oh! Oh. Okay. I guess I complete. I must have forgotten this button exists. That's what I did last time, so... Three damage. That's it. Okay, I just... I just forgot to use that button. Skink. I forgot that I had put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck. And I'll deal you one every so often. Ah. Huh. I'll take the skink. Okay. So that's all it is. It's just remember to push the actual little button there. Zero five. Hmm. How do we... So I'm trying to deal damage to his side. So... Need to move you down. You, ah, so where are you... Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Hover your mouse up on top, moves up. And the bottom moves it down. So... Get all the cards on my side and... Won't let me to a certain extent. So, if I move that back. Ah. Won't let me. Hmm. Give me that three. Only two damage. Why? I guess that still blocks back there. Hmm. 
It's fine. Get the one damage here. Only one. Do this. Two. So I guess this doesn't actually block back there. This just flies over. This is hard. Two damage. Hmm. Come back to my side. Two damage. I don't understand you at all. Who's doing the damage? Who's not? The other direction, perhaps. Zero damage. So that means these two aisles are doing no damage. One. So this does one damage when that's back there. Zero. So this this aisle can only do one damage. That's all I can do. Uh, column. One. What if you do this so I can... Oh! There we go. So that did three there. So I can't move you back. There it is. Kind of understood how I did that. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I'll add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. So be it. Worker ant and the queen. There it is. Oh, there's more. We're not done yet. Zero. Can't move that at all. Still zero. Fine. Zero. One. Okay, so we can do one if we have that there. One. Three. One. So that's three. This. Four. Actually, if we move this one down, it won't let us. Still four. I'll get more damage on the board. Move you down. Three. No. Move you down. Two. No. So I guess when they're back on these arrows, they don't deal damage. Move you up here. No. No. Four. So that does one damage there. So if I can move you up and get you back. Um, maybe put you down. Move you back. I can't get that one off the board. It's in the way. Four. How do I do more? I don't understand. Move you up. Move you. Five. I guess that did it. I don't fully understand, but I'll take it. Curious. Caged wolf. Six health. I'll take it. This one next. Does one already. That's two. Move you back. Still two. Move that forward. Still two. Move you back. Can't. Move you like that. Three. How do I change it? Can't move you down. Can do that. Two. Only two. Can't move you down. If I move you up, can I move you down? No. I wish I knew the reasons why sometimes you can move them down, and sometimes you can't. Seems you connected to how many others I have down or up. No. Two. One. So I need this here to do one damage. I'm not sure if this one's doing damage at all. Can't move it. Put you back. Can't move you back. Let me put you there. Move you back. Two damage. Two. Hmm. Move you forward? Wait. That increased the damage? How? Two. Three? How's that work? I thought this paw facing this way meant that these cards were attacking this way. But if I move it over to like my opponent's side, I'm now dealing more damage to them? Don't understand that at all. Can I like right click this? Nope. Alright, so... And that, and that finished it? I don't understand at all. Ooh, I'll take that though. 
and I thought I had all the totem heads together. My thanks. The woodcarver will offer this now. Alright. Okay. So this... So basically... So is it moving that onto there? I guess these little sh spiky things damage the one whose side they're on, maybe? I guess that's- I guess that's what it is. I guess these little spiky things damage that side. Okay. Well, that's done. Not sure what is going on over here. You're locked up. Oh, that's right. I can grab... I can grab those for the trapper. Okay. Moving on. Hmm. We go forward. I didn't use up my items, did I? Oops. Hmm. You can't take more than three items, and you have three. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend? Oh. What? Pack rat. Just a free card. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. I'll take it. Hmm. I've never seen that before. Might go there. I've seen you. Can barely see that. Oops. I guess we'll go this way. Check out that is. Oh. Insect totem. This insect will grow strong with their sigil. Greetings. Greetings, friend. We have. I want to know what this is, but wait, wait till some creatures around the board. Squirrel. We've got... Oh, the oh, the spider, I hate it. A zero one. Oh, they're all insects, growing stronger. Alright, well... The skink. Where's your, where's your ability? Loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil will be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. I'm actually going to take that. Put you here. We end turn. Oh my. Ah, the wriggling tail. It's hard to cow it's hard to call it cowardly. It's clever is what it is. Just stays alive and blocks damage. Oh, uh, let's get a squirrel to summon the bullfrog. Um Bullfrog, you Hmm. You will uh, unfortunately have to tank some damage from this worker ant. Stink bug. You will also have to tank damage and make it weaker. Good play. Also, what does this do? I'm serious. You cannot use that. There's no possible use for it. I'll place it on that shelf over there for now. Oh. My advice? Avoid it. I think not. That's a story related item. Okay. Well, we'll end turn. There we go. Good job, Skink. Uh-oh. They're maturing. This seems like a fight I'm probably gonna lose. Yeah. Big time. Here, we'll draw a card. Yeah, we're, we're super screwed. Oh, time to pull some teeth, huh? Ouch. Don't, don't mind the pain. They'll be alright. <sighs> it hurts. How come I haven't drawn any cards like my myself? You're lacking the sacrifice of that creature. Well, we've lost then. Unfortunate. Mantis God. Devastating. A brutal loss. Luckily, we have two candle flames. So we continue on. We'll be alright. I guess I shouldn't have wasted those items. I hoped for more. Don't worry. We're not done yet. What does this do? I feel like my card draws have been bad. Hello. Show me some exquisite pelts. Oh, that's the traitor. Hair pelts. Ah. Let's get some better items, shall we? Give me something unkillable would be good. Extra lives. I'm thinking, I think unkillable is just like the better version of extra lives, right? What's this? Corpse Eater. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing this sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. So these cards just... Oh, I see. So this thing just will automatically take the... If it's my deck, just takes the place of something? Interesting. Pronghorn. Rabbit hole. I think we go for the unkillable, right? So we can fuse that into something. Or get the grizzly out there for some muscle. But it's hard to play. 
Get the cockroach. We'll infuse it into something. Is that a, a golden pelt? Magnificent. Oh. Rare cards. I guess the amiibo is actually a pretty decent card, right? The Gek is a free 1-1, one, one, which is not terrible. The Long Elk. The Mole Man. What are you? Burrower. When an empty space will be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Oh, it just takes damage for us. Okay. Does he have another ability there? Mighty Leap. So he's, he's just a tank, a one-cost tank that takes lots of damage. I'll take you, actually. You have my gratitude. Indeed. It's time to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos.